more mommy tips and mommy talk. Today, we're gonna be discussing how to become a stay-at-home mom. I know there's a lot of preggers out there and I know that you're searching and you're on Google and you're researching and even just some moms who are working and you wanna stay home with your kids. I am here today to tell you how I did it and what's the best way to go about doing that, okay? So, don't forget to subscribe, click, 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 click that button to the right of your screen and don't forget to ring that bell so that you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? How to become a stay-at-home mom. All right, moms, one, I am a woman of God and I trust the Lord with every piece and every being of my life. So my first piece of advice to you is to trust in the Lord, that he's going to take care of you, that he's going to provide the means that you need to be able to stay home with your children. You requesting to stay home with your kids to take care of your own children is honorable before him. And there is no way that I believe that he would deny you that. So if you are wanting to stay home, trust the Lord, be in prayer about it. Make sure that you're discussing with your spouse about the plan to go about doing that. Okay? Trust in the Lord. He will direct your path. This stay-at-home mom path is not an easy one. And that is the second thing, second thing that you need to understand. That this is not going to be an easy, an easy thing to do. Going from two incomes to one is very, very difficult in 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 any way possible. It's going to be difficult. But if you have the faith to believe that you can do it. You got it. It's it. All things are possible through Christ. So let's just understand that this is not going to be an easy process. Okay. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some sacrifices. Okay. So understand that this is not an easy process. You need to plan and prepare to stay home. Get your budget. Get at a table with your spouse. And you're going to need to figure out what your bottom line number is for the month. And figure out what he needs to be bringing in so that you can meet that okay um, it's probably gonna be a little difficult but you need to differentiate between your needs and your wants you need lights you need water you want TV you want cable those things are not necessary so you're gonna need to figure out what you're willing to scratch off and what is vital get at the table with your husband and figure it out Whatever your bottom number is, you're going to make need to make sure that you're bringing that in. Whether that's from his income or whether that's from ways that you can bring in additional income while being at home. But we'll answer, talk about that a little later. As I said in my video on Monday about how kids affect finances, save, save, save. Saving needs to become a part of your vocabulary. That is something that you're going to have to learn how to do, especially being on one income because things are going to come up. You're going to have unexpected expenses and with only having one income that's meeting all of your bills it's not going to leave a whole 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 lot of money for a lot of extra extra so like i said it's not about the amount that you're saving you don't have to you it's not about oh, if i can't save 200 dollars a month then i'm just not going to save it all. i don't care if you're saving 10 dollars a month 50 dollars a month any little bit helps so save 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 start a savings account and don't touch it don't touch it unless it's for emergencies only Eventually, you'll get to a place where you'll be able to have a savings account and an emergency fund where that's for emergencies and this is just solely for saving, okay? But until then, just try to at least have a savings account so where you can save money for unexpected expenses and just for things that you may just want to do later on, okay? Research the government assistance programs in your state. Now, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. We have food stamps and we have WIC. This subject can be a little touchy for some people because some of y'all got that bougie spirit on you and we need to, you need to get it off because if you want to be a stay at home mom, you're going to have to tap into those resources. Okay. Food stamps is going to be an, an essential one. That's going to be able to take food out of your budget because that's going to be covered. Okay. Um, it was something that was a great thing for me when I first um, started staying home. We're not on it anymore, praise the Lord. And it's not something that you have to be on forever. But while you're getting started, if you're trying to stay home, look into food stamps. Apply and see if you can get, um, get approved for it. It's great. Okay? Another one is WIC. If you have small children, if you have babies, and even if you're pregnant, WIC is another thing that is great, 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 great. I'm going to do another video just specifically on WIC because there's a lot of steps and there's a lot of different things that you need to know about that. But just look, in, look into your state and to your county and see what they offer and see if they offer it. Do not be ashamed. Do not feel bad if that's something that you have to utilize right now. Hey, it is what it is. 
you're trying to do what you have to do to be able to stay home with your kids. That's the end goal. And if you can do that by tapping into those government resources, do it. Now, like I said a little earlier, you're going to need to figure out what is a need and what is a want. My husband and I had to sit down and make some hardcore decisions about what we wanted and what we needed. There are a lot of ways around um, paying unnecessary money out for wants. One being, which was a big one in my house, is cable. Um, that's something that I could not live without. I grew up with it. I, I, I needed it. I need to be able to watch television. Entertainment is necessary for me, especially if I'm going to be home. I need to have entertainment. But there are other ways around having necessarily having to pay $100, $200 for cable. Um, you got Netflix. You've got Hulu. You've got smart TVs where you can get um, YouTube and things on your television. You've got a fire stick. You've got other ways around necessarily having to pay a bunch of money out for, for cable. It's just, it's unnecessary, okay? So that was one that we cut from the gate. A bunch of eating out, eating out, going out to eat all the time. I had to learn how to start cooking. It is what it is. Um, cooking is not something that I want to do every day. And we have certain days that we that are set aside where we can go out and I can get a break from that. But for the majority of the week, I'm in that kitchen, okay? Um, a lot of extracurricular activities like going to the movies and going to amusement parks and all those things. Those things have to be planned. It's not no just on the whim. Let's just go to do... Mm -mm. unless you got it planned unless it's in the budget other than that it's gonna have to be planned or it's gonna have to be nipped out altogether okay it's just differentiating what's the want and what's the need you have to have shelter that's that's just that just goes without saying you have to have shelter you have to have water you have to have lights you have to have food if the needs in any way compromise those I mean if the wants compromise in any way the needs no okay so Put your big girl panties on and learn how to tell yourself no. Differentiate between your needs and your wants. And then last is just finding other streams of income while you're at home. Um, tap into anything, any hobbies and things that you that you may like to do. Me, I'm YouTubing now. Hopefully this will become um, another stream of income for me later on in the future. Um, put your all into it, whether it's sewing, whether it's crafts, whether it's decorating, whether it's babysitting cooking, whatever it is, find some other type of stream of income that you can make while you're at home. Um, that can just be extra spending money. That can be just extra saving money. That can be just whatever. It doesn't always necessarily have to help pay bills, but just any little bit helps while you're at home. Find your hands to do something. You don't have to, while your kids are napping, you could be doing something. There are a lot of part-time jobs, work from home jobs. There are full-time work from home jobs that you can that you can tap into as well but just find your hands to do something to bring in some other stream of income your husband's going to hold it down on the providing in but you just want to kind of help a little bit you don't want to be sitting at home in a bed just like literally not doing nothing okay just find your hands to do something while you're at home to help bring in another stream of income okay all right mommies those are my tips for becoming a stay-at-home mom i hope you learned something i hope it was informational um, staying at home is just a great choice and I'm always pro stay at home. It's carefree and it's a stress-free mind reliever knowing that your children are safe and that they're okay at home with you, okay? It's gonna be a sacrifice. It's gonna be a sacrifice to stay at home, but it's worth it. So worth it, okay? So I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get all your updates on every time I post. Gonna be posting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so make sure you tune in, okay? And if your children haven't told you today, you are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do. And also remember, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and conquer blessings. Have a great rest of the day.